Good morning, it's Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and I bring you all a new Sword Soul, Tri Brigade, and Branded card revealed. These might be the last three cards we ever get for these uh, archetypes for a very long time, just due to the fact that this lore is ending. We've gotten so many waves of support, it's ridiculous to flesh out this archetype and this story, and it looks like the story is now finally coming to the end. So let's go over these new cards. This might not be the last ones, but these are definitely towards the last ones. So first things first, we have Sword Soul Blazing Awakening. Normal spell card. You only use the first and second effect of this card once per turn. If you control a single monster, target one card in the field and banish it. Uh, it does target, which sucks, and it's a normal spell, which sucks. But it does just completely eliminate a card by banishing it, which is nice. And it is searchable. So that is not a bad effect at all. And then its second effect is if you control a Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, or Link Monster, banish one Synchro from your graveyard, add this card from your graveyard back to hand, so it can recur itself. So I definitely think this is a really cool one of for Sword Soul. I don't think this fixes any issues with Sword Soul, which is that they just don't end on the greatest end board, which is saying something because Blackout plus a Baron or Evil Long Long and the other a T Shao. Sounds like it would be enough, but it just isn't when Dark Ruler and uh, other blowout cards like that are a thing. But ultimately, this is a pretty solid card to help him break boards. This is just another way for Sword Soul to go second and help crack a board. And Sword Soul is already notorious for cracking boards. So as for that alone, it's definitely a good one of in a deck. Especially if you already have Blackout searched. Or if you just need to break a board and you know searching blackout isn't going to be enough to clear it. So overall this card is actually pretty interesting. Pretty solid indeed. It is just a banish. So hey you can make a synchro. Uh, as long as you can activate this card it's, you can just banish a floodgate which would be really really solid. So it's one of its biggest issues is outing floodgates. Luckily we do have Vishuda but... Uh, this card just gives more access to removal, and there's nothing ever wrong with that. Also, the artwork of this card is fantastic. Uh, I still can't tell where the lore is in this. We have Ecclesia shooting up in the air with a sword. But other than that, really, really cool. Now it's time to go over a new tri Brigade quick play. I kind of figured this was going to happen. Uh, I should have posted the video predicting this, but the new Link 4 requires more spells and traps to be used to summon, which is interesting. So... If you don't know, the Tri Brigade just got revealed a Link 4 monster, or I think it's a Link 5, my apologies, a Link 5 monster that require you to have like three different name uh, Tri Brigade spells in Traps and Grave. The only issue is the only one we played was Revolt, so I was like, what the hell else are we playing? But this card is probably the second one, which is pretty, pretty swell. So this card is Tri Brigade Roar. It might be our last Tri Brigade card for a while. Uh, it's a quick play spell. You can only activate this effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control a Link Monster, send one Tri Brigade card from your deck or extra deck to Grave. Then target one effect monster. Apply its effects uh, based on the type sent. So one, it's Foolish Burial, and then it does something whenever you Foolish. So that's actually solid. And it is sending from the deck or extra deck, so that's also solid. So the fact that you just said anything is just an amazing effect. Alright, so this card has these effects. So first things first. First effect is that if you send a monster, change one attack uh, position monster your opponent controls to zero. So that's also pretty, pretty interesting. So let's say we just want to send, a, let's just say we want a Foolish Burrow. Want to send like a Nerval. This card just says, hey, then target one card your opponent controls and change it to zero. Doesn't even target actually, does it? You know, it does target. Okay, fine. It just changes it to zero, which is pretty, pretty solid. If you send a spell card, the gate that targets affects it until the end of the turn because this card becomes imperm. So you activate this card, send itself, I believe, because this says a Tri Brigade card. It doesn't say it can't be itself. And then, thus, you got a free imperm. Not to mention you got two different spells. Oh, you can set a different spell, and that'd be like a blank. And then, bam, you just negate his card. I mean, if you send a trap card, which I'm thinking oaf, uh, you can return one target to the hand. So this is technically a compulse, a negate, or just a quick effect, make it zero, which is all three really, really solid, and a foolish burial card. This card has a lot and a lot of potential, and it definitely opens up for us playing more Tri-Brigade variant cards. 
Because right now, the only spell and trap we even play is Revolt. But now it's going to give us access to, like, the other ones, like Oath. And uh, cards you necessarily wouldn't play, but we just play just because this card can make it like a pulse or a negate, which is pretty, pretty solid. A very, very powerful card. And uh, the artwork is also stunning. We have our big, big uh, link here going at it. So uh, let's go. And then our, finally, our last new card, which is a trap card. I know, surprise, trap card. But uh, we have a new trap card. This card is uh, Blazing Branded King. This is probably our last branded trap we'll get for a very long time. But its artwork is phenomenal. Probably one of the best artworks we've seen in the entire lore. Uh, it's a like golden wind surrounding the new branded uh, Albion uh, fusion, which is insanely beautiful. Uh, you have to see the artwork, which I'm showing, of course, right now. It is gorgeous. But uh, you can only use each effect of this effect once a turn. First effect, choose one fusion monster you control that mentions Fallen of Albaz as material. Negate the effects of all other face-up cards you currently control. And to the end of the turn. Uh, that's actually pretty insane. Uh, choose one fusion monster you control and mentions Fallen of Albaz material. That kind of just says, hey, let's board negate everybody. That's actually a really insane effect. And its second effect is, during the end phase, if a fusion monster sets a graveyard, you add this card from your graveyard to hand. This card seems insane. It's a trap card version of Featherstorm, but unlike Featherstorm, it doesn't have to it doesn't activate in hand, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't matter because all the brand cards can just set this. So you can literally go, you can literally dark rule your opponent during their turn. That's actually kind of insane. Now, of course, they can negate it, so they do have a trap negate. They can negate, or not negate. They could just negate this card. But still, that that effect is kind of insane. The fact that you just go Dark Ruler, and now your opponent's whole field's Dark Ruler. Now, it does suck because, let's say you have multiple fusions on the field. It does negate all the other fusions besides the one you choose, which does kind of suck because I would see this being played in Brandon Despia, and you might have, let's say, a um, Masquerade on field, or another one of the Despia monsters on field. This card basically says, hey, it doesn't re mention Fallen of Albaz, let's just negate our own monster, which kind of does suck. So I do see the issue there. But overall, this card is not bad at all. But there's so many good branded spells and traps, it's hard to see ever setting this card. Because don't forget, we can set Brandon in red. We can set Brandon Exclusion if we're trying to cipher our opponent. There's so many good cards to set. Anyway, y'all take care. <laughs>